Hi folks, a couple of days ago I got a call from Dennis Carley. He's the owner of the Aerolite 103 factory. He called and said, hey, I think you might want to come over and take a look at something. Now wait till you see what he showed me. This could be a game changer. So stick around and enjoy. Hi folks, today we're here in beautiful Deland, Florida with Dennis Carley. And Dennis Carley has a brand new vehicle here to show you. I'm going to let Dennis tell you all about it. Dennis? All right, thank you, Wayne. Um, well, this obviously has two seats because we're both sitting in it. So uh, we've, been, uh, we've been working on this project on and off for probably about two to two and a half years or so. Uh, time is our most precious commodity around here, so this has certainly moved along much uh, slower than we had initially anticipated. Yeah. But we had seen over the years, uh, in the past four or five years in particular, a uh, great increase in um, uh, inquiries for a potential two-seat Aerolite. Yeah. So we uh, come up with an idea of what we wanted to do. What you're sitting in right here is the very first rough, you know, draft prototype of, uh, of what we had in mind. Uh, we're going to take this up to Oshkosh with us next week and, uh, cool. and put it in our booth and... Uh, and let everybody take a look at it and see what feedback we get from it. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of feedback. I'm sure a we will. Of, you're going to get a lot of good comments because I think people have been looking for something like this from you for quite a long time. Yeah. So now, um, I guess uh, this is this is going to be a experimental airplane, right? In experimental Beach. kit uh, kit airplane only. Okay. We won't have any factory uh, ready to fly two seaters. We will still continue, obviously, to do the, uh, the single seaters, but uh, kit form only. It'll have the same low build time as our uh, our single place, somewhere in the 30 to 50 hour um, total total build time. Right. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the that's the long and short of it. That's that's exciting. Have you have you thought about the uh, Tundra tires and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, something like this, but the, the prototype. Right? Yeah, this well, like you know, actually, what you see on the main wheels here are these little thin, we call them temporary tires. We have had such a horrible time, like everybody else in the manufacturing industry, sure. of getting things. We we finally have regular wheels and tires like you see on the front right. after a little over nine months of, uh, of oh, not having those uh, available. Um, but this will have a standard tire, will be the big 15-inch uh, uh, main wheel sure. tire and this 13-inch uh, nose wheel. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, I can almost feel like we could we could go now. <laughs> yeah. And I like this. I love the idea that you're going to make this a single stick. I mean, you, yep. know, you know, trying to get in and out of this airplane is going to be have its own bit of a challenge. Yeah. But this is going to be a. Yeah, and we uh, we we initially designed this. I had two sticks, one for each seat, right. and uh, I I could get in and out of it, but I could see where some folks might have a little difficulty getting around that stick. So we changed it over to the single stick design. Yeah, some of us who have made too many trips around the sun have, have a little <laughs> more trouble getting in and out uh, yep. of, of a two-stick airplane. Yeah. Gosh, this is great. Well, like you say, this is this is a first of a kind, right? Yep. And, and this is, you're going to learn a lot from this. Oh, yeah. This and it'll, it'll undoubtedly have changes, you know, between now and when we get through with this project. And we're probably talking a year and a half or two years down the road before this is actually available. You know, we pursue this. It'll be a... a year or two uh it'll have this same basic uh, shape i think when it's over but you might see some differences between now and then oh sure you, you're going to make changes as you need mm -hmm. right as, yep. you, as you develop this thing you're going to add the kinds of things that that you know need adding yep but you don't know them right now right? that's exactly right yeah gosh this is great well i sure thank you for this sneak peek on this I call it skunk works, but uh, <laughs> but actually this is this is a great uh, this this is going to be. I know there's a lot of people who are going to love this, yeah. and especially people uh, like my brother who likes to train yeah. you know, train pilots, and this is a natural yeah. training. Absolutely, yep, wonderful. for sure. Well, Dennis, thank you very much sure. again. It's All right, always a pleasure, always a pleasure okay. talking to you too, Wayne. <laughs> Take care. All right, hi folks. I feel really lucky to be able to sit in this first prototype of a two-seat Aerolite. Uh, this is going to be an exciting project and uh, I'm so glad that Dennis is, is working on this. Uh, this is gonna come a long way for pilot training so that you can jump from this to an Aerolite 103 
transition very, very easily. Uh, I, there are just so many great things about this that, uh, that I'm happy to see. And I appreciate Dennis uh, letting me sit in the seat and letting me make this, uh, this short video of this cool new project. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I appreciate your comments. Thank you for supporting my channel, and uh, share this video and all of my videos with friends. Until next time, take care.